Hi, I'm Susan. Today I am going to work on my journal that I started and that I made the cover for. And I'm going to add in three signatures. And I've already got my papers picked out. I've just got an assortment of things I jelly press, some pretty digitals I had, some coffee dyed papers, just different things. And I've got my waxed thread. I've got an awl. I've got a big needle. And I've got a template. And you want to make out your template so that you can figure out where your um, sign to sew in your signatures. All right. Now, first of all, you want to fold it in half. And you don't have to use graph paper. You can use any kind of paper. But just cut it out the um, size of your width of your spine. It's a little bit short, but you could just kind of eyeball that. Try to get it as squared off as you can which mine doesn't want to do. Let's see. There we go. Alright. So that's going to be your center signature. And since I'm doing three, the easiest way is just to take this one in and fold it to the center. And then back out. And then just turn it around and do the other. So now you've got your three signatures. And now you want to fold it in half this way. All right, where these cross, go ahead and make your X. Sorry, my eyes are not the best. All right, and then you just want to kind of come up evenly. I would, um, you could do half, or you could just come up about an inch. And I think that's what I'm going to do, is just come up about an inch and fold it. Mark those spaces where they cross. See where the lines, you may not be able to see it on camera. That's where the folds cross. And then just come up an inch on this side. Oops. We're going to let this be our top. Okay. And now we want to lay this as evenly as we can in our spine. And I do not have a book cradle that I can use, an old book. To punch your holes. I'll tell you what, probably the easiest way, for me anyway, is I'm just going to put a little piece of tape to hold it in place. Again, 
that I've got it where I need it. Okay, and you just want to poke your holes through the board. Okay, I've got one signature sewn in, and I'm going to show you how I did that. You want to take your wax thread, and you want at least three times the length of your book. I do a little bit over because I like to add charms, and it's, to me it's better to have, have um, too much than not enough. And you want a big darning needle and um, just add your thread to that okay now you want to take take your book just any old book I'm using just my glue book take your signature and I start from the back going forward so this is my middle signature Make sure it's the right side up, because I have messed up before. Get your papers where you want them. Okay, and put your template that you made for your spine in the center, using the center one. On your top, at the top, just helps keep everything on an even keel. Okay. Now that I've got my papers to make life a lot easier, I'm just going to clamp them to each side. So they're not moving all over the place. Okay. So now you want to get your awl and punch the holes into the, pa the papers, going all the way through the papers. Now, you can get a book cradle, and I would love to have one to make, make it easier. But if you don't have one using it, your book is just great. Again, I'm checking to make sure everything's right side up. Okay, now you want to take your needle and go through the middle, the middle hole, and find the middle hole that you need here. I'm nearsighted, my glasses don't work very well, so I'm back and forth with them off and on. Alright, you just pull that through leaving a tail and you want to come back up through that middle hole that's in your spine and carry it through all those papers that you've already made the hole for. Make sure I got everything. Alright. Okay, now you want to go all the way down. And some people go up and back around. I just, for me, this way is easiest. But you do whatever is the most comfortable for you. All right, and now you want to come back up through that middle hole, but you want it to come up on the opposite. See how this thread is on this side of the of the long? You want to come back up through the middle. On that side and you don't want to split your thread okay so far so good because if you split your thread see now you just want to flip that over if you split your thread you can't tighten it okay. 
shape. See, everything's tight. And now you just want to tie a knot around that thread. And it will hold it in. Let's see, I think I can get a little tighter now. Yeah, I split the thread. But I think I can um, get it out here. Now. And now we'll tie it. And you've got your signature sewn in. And I'll do the other one and I'll be back. Dolly poking up, and now all we have to do is decorate. That's some coffee dye where I used a doily. That's one of my jelly prints. Some of the parchment I used when I coffee dyed my papers. An envelope I can decorate and tuck stuff in. Just different magazine. You see, all this is just one signature. All the backs. And then I've got my second signature, which has a lot of pretty much the same stuff. I've got another jelly print, some coffee dyed paper, some envelopes. I mean, this is only the third journal that I've made. And I love, I love making it. I love writing in it. And I miss writing in it because my the other two, one was a, a small fall journal that was a thankful journal. And then I did my Christmas journal and I wrote in it. But I just haven't made another one for, for myself for through the year. So this is gonna be that. And I'm gonna add some kind of a closure gonna add some charms. If you don't like charms, you can just tighten a bow or clip it at the knot, whatever you want to do. I like bling. And, um, and we'll decorate the cover. And I think that looks cool, but more than likely I'll put some lace or something on the back. I kind of want it to have a vintage look. And, um, We'll take this to the next level. I may trim some of the papers that are still a little too long. Although I won't leave my doily, but at least at the bottom. That's not too bad, but this one's sticking out a lot. It's where I tore my parchment paper. I didn't tear it very well. But um, yeah, we'll continue working on this off and on and I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that I'm not an expert. Like I said, this is only my third one, but it's fun and I'm learning and having a good time learning. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And until next time, bye y'all.